If you're after the latest technology or IT support, our passionate team can help. Plus IT, we're all about local. Power 1031, Ballarat's leaders in local. Listen anywhere you go on the free iHeartRadio app. Your news now. Hi there, I'm Brett Mack with your local news first. A female police officer has been bitten on the leg by an offender's dog in Sebastopol over the weekend. After a car crash on Saturday afternoon, a person of interest had fled the vehicle and hidden on a nearby roof. Whilst being assessed by paramedics at the scene, the female's dog escaped from a nearby yard and is alleged to have advanced on the officer with police deploying capsicum spray. A 23-year-old from Redan has been released pending further inquiries and the results of a toxicology report. The director of the Art Gallery of Ballarat has welcomed a funding announcement for a new master plan. As part of an $8 million investment into tourism projects across Victoria, the state government has given the gallery $388,000 for the exhibition master plan. The plan will aim to help the gallery put on more blockbuster exhibitions. Gallery director Louise Teggett says storage and growth of their nationally significant collection of artwork is also a key part of the project. Our nationally significant collection of over Sport and the outgoing CEO of the Ballarat Turf Club has overseen her last race meets with the Grand National Steeplechase yesterday. Belinda Glass finishes up this Friday after around five years in the top job. Belinda says she's proud of what she's achieved, especially the big name trainers that now call Ballarat home. The big names certainly started to come, um, you know, prior to me being CEO. So under Locke McKenzie's um, guidance, you know, we started to see Archie Alexander and Mitch Friedman and Matt Kamani and um, some of those trainers relocate to Ballarat. The team should be really proud that um, following on from that, that growth, um, we have seen some really big names like Nigel Blackiston and um, McAvoy Mitchell Racing. That's the latest in your local news. CFMEU will hold rallies in capital cities around the country tomorrow morning, protesting the forced administration of the construction union. Qantas is honouring first-class flights to the US. It accidentally sold at more than 50% off. 300 tickets were snapped up for just $4,300, which is 85% less than the usual cost. It says the heavily discounted fares were due to a coding error. A man who killed his nine-year-old stepdaughter in the Blue Mountains two years ago will spend the rest of his life behind bars, with the judge giving him a life sentence without parole. Federal Labor is being urged to overhaul COVID compensation payments. The scheme's available for those who had severe reactions to the vaccine, but patients argue it's poorly managed and narrow in its scope. The scheme will come to an end next month. And an outbreak of syphilis is being linked to the deaths of unborn babies in Queensland's northwest. Doctors are calling for an increase in screening for the treatable STD. Win big with the great Aussie giveaway. You could win a share in over 200k of incredible prizes. To enter, get your free property report at aussie.com.au. Discover the potential selling value of your home or any Australian property. It's your chance to drive home the ultimate adventure prize, a Toyota Hilux Rogue and Easy Trail Caravan. Plus, there's over 65k of weekly prizes up for grabs. For your chance to win, get your free property report at aussie.com.au or meet an Aussie broker.
Sports. Brought to you by D2E Gym. From Delacombe to Wendere, you're never too far from a D2E. To Sport, AFL Finals tickets go on sale tomorrow from 10am. Club members can secure their seats for the qualifying finals. General public sale begins at 3pm. Tickets to the elimination finals go on sale on Wednesday. And the NRL is playing down talk of inconsistency among refs, but admits at least one decision at the weekend was wrong. Questions were raised over a number of high tackle penalties and sin bins. The league conceding Bulldogs captain Stephen Crichton should have been marched for his high shot on Friday night. That's the latest in news and In 25 years, Aussies have been powering their passion with Battery World. So if you're hitting the open road, on your next outdoor adventure, or simply taking pride in a job well done, there's only one place to go, and that's Battery World. RFM weather. Regional retaining walls. Check out their new range of honed Hampton concrete sleepers and stepping pavers. For the rest of today, cloudy conditions with showers becoming less likely as we get through today and a severe weather warning has been issued. Windy, partly cloudy conditions tomorrow with a chance of a shower most likely during the night. A minimum of 6 degrees and a max temp of 17.